setup is super simple. Visit Khanzone.com, then download the software, install the software, and configure the software. For the detailed uh, explanation, please uh, keep watching the video. So let's visit Khanzone.com to download the software. Again, it's uh, K-H-A-N-Z-O-N-E dot com. Once you're on, once you're on Khanzone dot com, you need to download uh, the software by clicking on this link, which says Download uh, for Windows. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it, and as you can see, uh, setup dot zip has been downloaded. Uh, I'm using Microsoft Chrome browser, so I'm going to click here and I'm going to choose show in folder. And now you can see set up that uh, zip folder, set up, the, set up that zip file. Now I understand some people think, you know, downloading uh, files from internet may contain virus, malware or adware. So go ahead and scan it with your favorite antivirus or you can scan it by right clicking on it and choose scan with Windows Defender and it will scan your file. Now, as you can see in my uh, example, in my scan, I don't see any uh, uh, threats. So you can use your, use your favorite antivirus software if you want. Now, going back to it, I'm going to double click on set up that zip file. And uh, within set up that zip file, I see set up that exe. I'm going to double click on it. Uh, once I double click on it, you will uh, notice this uh, blue screen. What this means is I'm providing a free software and I don't have any certificate for this uh, free software. So Microsoft is just telling you, hey, uh, we don't know anything about this application. So are you sure you want to run this? Uh, to run this, you have to click on uh, this option, more info. Uh, click on it and then choose the option, run anyways. After you choose that, you choose that you have to hit yes, and then this setup wizard will uh, appear. The setup is pretty standard. Uh, you just click next, and if, if you want to create a desktop shortcut, go ahead, then hit next, and it will tell you where exactly uh, it's uh, saving the files, and hit install. Once you install uh, uh, this option. Uh, launch a Don player worldwide. You can check it and you can hit finish. Once you finish, uh, you will see uh, this software screen. Uh, setup is pretty simple. The step one is uh, enter your uh, city, country, or full address uh, right here. So if you want, you can type in your full address, or if you want, you can just specify your city, state, and zip. For example, uh, I can type uh, Long Island, New York, USA. Uh, after that, uh, calculation method. Uh, that's up to you which one you want to use. Uh, I'm using ISNA. And other method, either you can use Shafi or Hanafi. Uh, Shafi is standard, and there's another one Hanafi, so I will just stick to default. And then it's asking uh, where exactly uh, do you want your Adhan to play? So there are two options. Option number one, is uh, Google Home, and option number uh, two is Windows PC, Alexa, uh, or Bluetooth. So let's explain uh, what this option is. Uh, this is, um, the option is uh, basically saying, okay, you have a Google Home, or Google Nest, or Google Display, or Chromecast, or any TV with built-in Chromecast, then choose this option. Once you choose this option, uh, it will ask you which speaker you want to play on. So I have these speakers in my house. Now, if you notice, there's a speaker called Home Group. What I did was I took three of my speakers and I grouped them into one speaker using um, Google Home app. So say if you have a speaker downstairs and one speaker is upstairs and one in the basement, then you can group them together and Adan will play on all of them. So in my case, I'm going to use uh, Office Speaker, for example, upstairs. This is my Google Home. 
speaker in my room and then I will choose the option save all settings this option right here uh, once I click on it uh, the system will say hey um, this is the address I'm going to use are you okay with this address um, if you think you're okay with this address this is where you live then uh, you should hit yes otherwise you can hit no and enter your address again so I'm going to hit so now you can see uh, all the prayer times are listed on the bottom you can verify your uh, prayer times uh, to make sure they look good my Fajr is 421 my Isha is 918 and this button is just there you know in case if you want to refresh it and see times from some other day uh, one more thing I want to show you if you click on uh, settings option uh, then you can customize uh, which Adhan you want to play so I'm going to click on Adhan files and you can see here um, there's uh, three default URLs uh, one is uh, Fajr Adhan and then there is other Adhans and then there is a preview so if you have if you have another Adhan hosted somewhere on your computer uh, or on some web server then feel free to replace these uh, values with your uh, with your own values uh, so it has to be an mp3 file and it has to be hosted on a HTTP server uh, once you've done that you can hit save and you're all set and next time system will play those addons you can also uh, preview the speaker if you want uh, you can choose uh, either you want to preview uh, just to make sure your software works on Google home speaker or Windows PC by clicking on a preview speaker button so I'm just going to choose Windows PC and I'm going to click preview Advanced player is installed كما تثبيت مشغل الأذان this just confirms that everything everything looks good now if you need to contact me then please always email me the file uh, by clicking on settings and clicking on logs it will show you this file so please always attach this uh, file to your email so I can see what exactly is going on with your uh, install and you can find my email address by going to settings and about and uh, this is my email address right here uh, I hope uh, I explained everything if you have any questions uh, please leave a comment or email me uh, and I'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions